All right. Um, this was pretty interesting because this is this all falls back down on the usage of Ripple slash XRP for cross border settlement outside the American SWIFT system. A lot of people are not going to understand the whole thing until I basically put it to the end. So let me start from the beginning. One, right now, the United States is showing massive support for Israel. Whatever, no big deal. Uh, that's the way it's always been. Is it warranted, in my opinion? No. Why? They have everything they need. We don't need to be involved in that. We cannot afford to be involved in that. We don't have the, we don't, we don't, it's nowhere in the Constitution does it say that we have to run to the aid of every country and finance them and arm them and help them kill their enemies. It doesn't say that nowhere. But anyway, moving past that. That has alienated the Arab Gulf states because there's no assurance for them on the other side of this. So, you have, oh, I'll show you, two seconds, ba -ba 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 -ba. two seconds, yeah. You see that piece there? Da -da 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 -da. We're gonna get sexy with your mother. Da -da 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 -da. All right. That piece there that I put up is President of Russia, President of China, have gotten together to start organizing the final stages of their version of their new world order. The thing is this, Russia and China getting closer together is basically the end of the United States because Russia and China hold massive influence and money and military strength all across the Middle East, Africa, and growing Latin America. So this thing that's going on right now with Israel, you have to understand, once everybody backs away from America, which is happening right now, the system that they have to rely on to move money outside of the United States is the system that everybody is already implementing. The Middle East is implementing Ripple 100% everywhere. Okay, it is. You can't say it isn't. Abu Dhabi sold oil to India, and what did they use? This right now is the beginning phases of the utilization of Ripple's cross-border settlement uh, messaging for banks and central banks outside the United States dollar. This is, this is outside what the U.S. gives a fuck about. They don't give a fuck about the SEC lawsuit. They don't give a fuck about anything. They got their own regulators, and Ripple has 100% met the qualifications in it. So in Asia, in the Middle East, and in Africa, and in Russia, and China, they're about to flip the fucking switch over and go, we take the stand against the United States. And when they do that, that means the dollar. Because the first thing America does is they start to put financial sanctions on countries. That doesn't really mean anything if you're not dealing with them. That's like I'll give you an example. It's like most of my audience here is men, so men don't understand this. It's like let's say you got a guy, he's talking all this shit in front of you. I'm going to fuck you up. I'm going to bust you. I'm going to do this. But he keeps talking. He keeps talking for nothing. And let me tell you something. I got one, I got one trick. I got a mouth guard. I just put on the mouth guard right in front of him. It's like he under, at that point, he understands Blows. That's all that's going to matter. But the thing is, if he just keeps talking and talking and talking, what does that do? You just walk away from him because you know what? It's stupid. He just likes to talk. Well, here's the thing. Everybody's going to walk away from America. They're not going to participate with the threats anymore. They're just going to walk away. And that's what they're doing now. When Putin and Z got together, okay, when those two get together and start discussing on how they're going to formulate a new, a new structure of world for banking, uh, pricing of commodities, everything, global trade routes, everything. This is happening right now, right in front of America's face. That's like, once again, the guy that's talking shit, he's going to do this. You don't know me, dog. You don't know me. And you just go, you know what? Let me know when you want to throw hands. Because that's what this is. Everybody's just going, what? America who? 
Let me tell you something. Brad Gardenhouse, the, the, the CEO of Ripple, when he was in the Middle East during the last uh, big digital, you know, economic summit, whatever, and they asked him in the audience about, you know, what's your thought about America's, you know, um, you know, the lawsuit and everything. He's like, America who? What? Let me tell you something. I pointed that thing out to you. You have no idea conversations outside of America, how they're looking at America like, yeah. Think about it. It no longer has the strength overseas it used to. Right now in America, they're talking about drafting people. Drafting people to do what? What are you going to do? Take them from the barista job to throw them in the, the Golan Heights? Come on. It ain't going to happen. Look, at the end of the day, the whole world is just basically going to say, you know, we're done with it. And the main thing about that is economic stability. And how can they have economic stability? Simple. They set up a system where each, everybody can trade in their national currencies. That's the only one that does that. There's only two of them that does that. It's XLM and XRP. It's as simple as that. Africa is massively, massively rich. It is the richest nation on earth. It just hasn't been developed because the Europeans have always had their, you know, their, their banking system and their governments on top of them like a colony. But now they don't have to do that anymore. Now they can deal direct. Now Nigeria can sell oil to South Korea directly. They don't even have to go through the European banks or the United States. People, I'm trying to give you an example of the value of XRP and XLM going into the future. It is a massive tool for derailing the United States banking system around the world. That control is over. So hope that helps. Another video to come.